what's going on everybody and welcome to your 42nd javascript tutorial in which we'll be looking at some special characters in regular expressions so let's get started and from the last tutorial i hope you remember that we talked about match and how it worked i will use that in this tutorial as well so let's get started and create a random string consisting of some numbers and some letters and you can bang your head on the keyboard if you want to do that so I have done mine and we have got this random bunch of string which is completely illogical but we need this for our example <laughs> so let's get started now let's create some regular expressions so let's take a look at the dot regular expression so this dot right here technically uh, means everything except a and that should be except actually I just said accept and that looks kind of weird so it should be except EXCEPT so this dot would accept right now accept everything except the new line and what is the new line like your this one so this uh, dot would match a string only till this and let's see how this work and we have this regular expression now let's create a result uh, let's say mm, my string dot match now we got a regular expression inside the arguments so here we go let's alert this now let's reload the browser whoa okay so oh so we can't have actually multi lines in JavaScript and we need to use some other thing like text area for that so I'll show you this exception later on but for now let's reload this and we get S now why is that why did it give us only a letter when we had a bunch of characters in the string now regular expressions are made to work that whenever they find their first occurrence they would automatically stop so how do we fix that we use make use of the modifier which is G and all this stuff you have to remember because there's no actually some technical reason behind this we are just using a single letter words single letter how could they be words but who cares so we are just using single letters to donate some special meanings to some special things now this G would be placed outside the expression itself so that it doesn't become the part of expression itself and what it means is that continue your search for the whole string even if you have matched the occurrence once or more times so now let's move to console and let's reload this and now we get it as this ugly form and to make things cleaner let's do something like this console.log type of result first of all let's see what the heck is result is actually and now let's just console log the result now let's reload this okay so here we have an array of returned elements and the type as object and remember that type of type of array is also or basically this should be it so type of array is also an object so remember that this is returning an array and this is considered as an object in JavaScript so we have the all the basically uh, characters in this string separated by a uh, comma or not in a comma but separated as separate elements in the array so let's look at some more special characters in this regular expression so the next thing we have is the D special character and what it will do is it will match a digit uh, basically it will just match a digit so let's see what it happens now remember that we are using chi and if I remove this then it would match only the first uh, digit and it would quit 
so it would give us only 9 so let's reload this and we get 9 and this is uh, something different I'll explain that later because okay so let me explain it right now so basically by using result dot index you could actually get the index property as well of that so the index of 9 is 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Oh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the index of 9 is 9. Hmm, interesting. So, now let's reload it to default. And let's reload this. Uh, we have got input as well, but who cares for this? Uh, we just want the occurrence to be returned itself. So now we have D as the regular expression. And now let's raise, place the G modifier. So now we, it will search for the whole string for the match of digits. Now let's reload this and we have got a sweet bunch of digits only from this garbage right here. So if you take out digits, all the digits, then you'll get them in this array. And that makes your work pretty sweet, convenient and easy to do because using traditional for methods and checking against every character for a digit would be a kind of very uh, you can say cumbersome task so that's how we use regular expression for matching the digits and let's get to some uh, other special characters uh, let me see what I've got in my mind uh, let's see on the capital digit which is the D and what does that mean is it would match everything which is not a digit basically so let's reload this for uh, making you understand so this is kind of a inverse of this D because whatever this D would match right here this capital D would simply ignore that and would match the rest of the stuff so that should be pretty simple to remember and yet again we are using this G modifier to make it work all the way down to the end of the string and not just the first occurrence so the next thing we have is the W the W quantifier which would actually mm, uh, okay so I'll explain it this way that this W would actually match any letter from A to Z, uh, A to Z being it the small one or A to Z being it the capital one and all the numbers as well. So basically this is kind of checking for a string if it is alphanumeric or not. So let's change our string a little bit now. It's time to change it. So let's say I write I love JavaScript very much and I put two exclamatory marks at the end and now let's use W right here and let's reload this and we get I love JavaScript very much and if you notice that we neither got the spaces inside the arrays and nor these two exclamatory marks and this is because this matches only characters from A to Z no matter they are small or capitalized A to Z and 0 to 9 so it matches alphanumeric and space and your exclamatory marks are not alphanumeric so if we uh, include some quotation marks as well then these won't be included in this array so that's how you work with the W one let's move on to the next one and we have the capital W and by now you have already guessed that what it does just like the capital D it is the inverse of the small w and what it would do is it would match everything except the uh, alphanumeric characters so let's reload the browser and now what you see is we got a space we got a space we got a space we got a space and two quotation mark oh sorry two um, exclamatory marks so we have got four space one two three four and two exclamatory marks so this kind of returns non alphanumeric characters to us so I hope you are able to catch up with me 
uh, let's move on to the next one and so we have the T the T quantifier which would match a tab obviously so let's see if I give it a tab right here so we have got a tab right here let's save this and let's reload this and it matches a tab so it's up to you how you work with this and let's look at some more modifiers then okay so now let's take a look at some bad boys now let's get into some sets or ranges so let's remove this backslash and let's say I want to match every character let's remove this tab every character having the range of letters from A to Z and being small so make sure of the syntax right here let's reload this and we get the array of these letters and if you see then all these letters are small and belong to the range A to Z now let's ra narrow up down our range a bit and let's make it to A to D and let's reload this I've got A, A, C and C so A should be right here this is A, A, C and C so that's how you work with these ranges this would basically specify the initial position the ending position and both are inclusive if you have ever done like sets in maths then you know that this uh, little square bracket means that both of the elements are inclusive and it pretty much works the same in the regular expressions of JavaScript as well because after all it would uh, it was developed by a mathematician so let's move on to some next and let's see what we have got the next we have got is a kind of negative character set and what does that mean is that anything which does not matches these and to do that what we do is we make use of uh, I don't know the symbol above six uh, key on a keyboard which creates a kind of this top arrow I don't know where it is on your keyboard but for mine it's on the six key above six key so press shift and your six key and you'll get the symbol and now it would match every character except in the range of A to D so let's reload this have you got everything except the A to D so that's how you create a negative set of characters and now let's move on to some other characters other special characters which I would like to discuss with you okay so let's say if I want to search or accept this input only when this word the last word or basically this string ends with the letter of let's say Z so what I'll do is I'll type Z and a dollar sign so what does that mean is right now that okay so I want Z in this range and I want it at the end this dollar sign signifies that Z should be the last character of this string so now let's reload this and as you can see it returns as null because there is not big and this uh, exclamatory mark is the last one so let's place a Z and let's reload this uh, and we got Z as the return so now let's take a look at some interesting example now let's say I want it to end in an alphanumeric way so what I'll do is I'll type W and uh, a W like this and a dollar sign so what does that mean is that it should be alphanumeric and it should end with the alphanumeric so now we are basically combining two regular expression options operations and let's reload this and we get H because H is an alphanumeric but I, if I place this what do you say I always forget its name the exclamatory marks and I reload this then I get null so that's how I'm combining two uh, different operations together to achieve some quite amazing results and uh, let's see some more quick operations and special characters we could use in the regular expressions okay so the next thing I would 
to discuss with you guys is the OR operator and the OR uh, quantifier basically what it will do is it will match either of the words you specify so for example in our above sentence we have love and JavaScript as two words so this regular expression would say either match uh, love in the sentence or JavaScript and this would work even if one is not available but not if the both are not available so let's reload this and we get both as an array so if we remove the or basically just type anything which is not available in here and let's reload this page so we'll all, all, uh, only get love so we kind of create an option for the regular expression engine to choose either of the two or if uh, both are present then go ahead with both of those so this is our operator in your regular expressions uh, and um, I guess um, I pretty much remember only these right now for you to explain but in future in future videos maybe the next one we would be using a lot of these regular expressions and with the time passage I would be able to recall more of these uh, expressions and how to use them and I would teach you them, uh, teach you all the stuff as well in my future tutorials. So, whoa, it's already 16 30 minutes. So, I'll see you then in the next tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comment section what's your views on this tutorial. So, I'll see you then. Goodbye.